Hey and welcome to the daily Arsenal news show. Let's begin with our daily news. Arsenal player has agreed terms with another club. He is ready to sign five-year deal. Fuller and Balogun has already agreed personal terms with Monaco, which will see the Arsenal striker sign a five-year contract in the Principality potentially before the weekend. That's according to a report from 90 Minute, which notes that Arsenal and the League One side are getting incredibly close to agreeing a fee for the 22-year-old. It appears that an announcement on the future of Fuller and Balogun may now be imminent, and it would seem that he is on the verge of heading back to the French top flight. There has been months of speculation concerning the USA international, and it appeared extremely likely that he would get the chance to move on, with Mikel Arteta proving that he had a host of other striker options to pick from, even without Gabriel Jesus available. 90 Minute reports that a deal between Arsenal and Monaco is getting closer, Monaco are set to pay up to around £38.5 million. Meanwhile, the Gunners will receive a sell-on fee if Balogun moves on. It appears that there is still work to be done on the fee, but Balogun looks to be ready to move to Monaco, with 90 minutes adding that personal terms on a five-year contract are already in place. Arsenal may not be getting the kind of fee they would have hoped for Balogun, however, it does appear to be a really decent piece of business from Edu, who has seemingly struggled to sell players for good fees in the past. Balogun looks to be a phenomenal talent, and the decision may come back to hunt the Gunners in the future. However, he is someone who is yet to prove himself in the Premier League, and clearly, Arsenal have plenty of depth in the final third, so ultimately, they are getting nearly £40 million plus extras for someone who is moving away from the Premier League and would have potentially been fourth choice for Arteta anyway. Celtic have actually made move to sign a 26-year-old Arsenal player this summer. Celtic have made a move to sign Arsenal defender Kieran Tierney this summer, but looks set to miss out on the defender. A report from 90 Minute has shared more information on the 26-year-old's immediate future. After insisting for much of the summer that Kieran Tierney wasn't leaving Arsenal, he is about to head out of the door. Unfortunately for Celtic fans, it doesn't appear as though a reunion is on the cards. Fabrizio Romano has suggested that Tierney will be heading to La Liga side Real Sociedad, the Basque club, managed to qualify for the season's Champions League, and Tierney will be hoping he slots straight into the team at left back. He's seen himself fall down the pecking order at the Emirates. Over the past 12 months, the signing of Zinchenko was bad news for Tierney, but at the start of the season, Arteta has turned to other options in the Ukraine's absence. Despite coming on in the Community Shield final, Yuri Tamber and Takahiro Tomyasu have both started ahead of him in the Premier League. Celtic wanted to sign Tierney from Arsenal, but unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be a move that's on the cards. Brandon Rodgers will instead have to look at alternative options in the final week of the transfer window. The report from 90 Minute suggests that Rodgers is a huge fan of the Scottish international and tried to sign him on several occasions at Leicester. However, Celtic couldn't match the wages being offered by Real Sociedad as part of their loan offer. Celtic earned £25 million by selling Tierney to Arsenal back in 2019, after he made 170 appearances for the club. The allure of Champions League football would have appealed to Tierney playing both at the Real Arena and Parkhead. Arsenal are still trying to move on several other players this summer before the transfer window shuts. They are looking for suitors for Nicolas Pepe and Cedric Soares, and it appears as though they could break their transfer record when Fuller and Balogun eventually departs. Journalist says he was told the £27 million Arsenal star was surprise contender to leave before summer. Journalist Dean Jones has suggested that it's very weird 
that Gabriel Magalis has been so heavily linked with a move away from Arsenal this summer after he was told to keep an eye out for the Brazilian to make a surprise exit before the window. He said, At the start of the window, I had to do a transfer guide for all of the big clubs for Give Me Sport and one of the sections was a surprise exit to look out for. So I spoke to a really good Arsenal contact and was like, who would you say if they were to suddenly lose someone that nobody's expecting? Keep an eye on Gabriel. That will definitely be Gabriel. There is potential if this transfer window opened up in a certain way that he could leave the club. I did it at the time and I kind of forgot about it coming into preseason. And then obviously he was out of the team for the first fixture. So I spoke to him again and look, there has been interest from PSG. There has been interest from Real Madrid and there has been interest from the Saudis. I don't think any of that is directly related to why he is not in the team, but it does seem strange. With that Saudi transfer window dragging beyond our transfer window too, that's a quite worrying to have a link that strong as it was. Arsenal are completely now playing this down and even this guy, I said, what do you think he is like, mate? Arsenal are so heavily stanced right now that they will not sell him that I don't see how it can happen unless it was like Gabriel was to properly kick off. So take it from what it is and say Gabriel is staying but it does seem very weird. Rai Parlor says he is the separate for a 24 year old to become Arsenal's next Martin Odegaard. Rai Parlor has admitted he is the separate for a new Arsenal signing Kai Havertz to improve like Martin Odegaard has at the club. Parlor was speaking on Talk Sport and discussing the German international with Alan Brazil. After making the £65 million switch from Chelsea in the summer, there is already a lot of pressure on Kai Havertz to succeed. He didn't arrive from Stamford Bridge in the best form also. Mikel Arteta clearly sees something in him. Havertz has started every competitive game for Arsenal so far this season in two different positions. With Gabriel Jesus injured, the 24-year-old's versatility is already coming in handy at Arsenal. Rai Parler has suggested that he hopes Havertz can improve under Arteta the same way Martin Odegaard has. The Norwegian club captain has been outstanding for Arsenal and looks set to play a vital role for the side again this season. Alan Brazel has made his feelings clear that he is not sure about Havertz, as has his colleague Gabi Agmollahor. Rai Parler has more faith though and said, He is gone into a new club and all I'm hoping for is he can get the same impact that he did for Odegaard because Odegaard came into the side and he improved so much under Mikel Arteta, so I'm just hoping that that can happen with Havertz. But it's not guaranteed. You are taking a gamble with any player when you buy him for that sort of money. You have to wait and see on that one. Havertz has a tough job on his hands as Arteta looks set to play him in a modified version of Granit Xhaka's role from last season. It remains to be seen if Havertz can succeed at Arsenal. Leandro Trossard says £158,000 a week Arsenal man is a tactical magician. Arsenal star Leandro Trossard has raved about Mikel Arteta and branded the Gunners boss as a tactical magician. The Belgian joined the North London club from Brighton and Hove Albion in the January transfer window. He has been excellent so far in the famous red and white and Arteta seems to have played a big part behind the scenes. After Arsenal missed out on Mikaelo Modric in the January transfer window this year, Mikel Arteta quickly identified Leandro Trossard as his top target. The Gunners made their move and sealed a £27 million deal, and the versatile Belgian has been fantastic for the North Londoners since. Arteta deserves a lot of credit for getting the best of Trossard, he helped the Belgian settle in very quickly and that led to him hitting the ground running last season. Now, Trossard feels at home at Arsenal and he has raved about Arteta. He said, tactically, the way he sees the game is amazing. He is a tactical magician, I would say. 
He helped me a lot on how we build up, where the spaces are, and how to move if you play in different positions. There are murmurs that Arsenal could sign 65 million pound defender now. Arsenal are scouring the market for new defenders once again, according to Gene Jones. Speaking on the Don Deal show, there have now once again been whispers about Guehi potentially ending up at the Emirates after Tamber's injury. However, frustratingly, Jones said that this deal won't be easy as Crystal Palace value the defender at around £65 million and the player himself isn't overly sold on the move right now. Jones shared what he's been hearing about Guehi. He said, it started to be whispered again in light of Arsenal having potential defensive problems. I mean, with Tamber out and the Gabriel rumors around him leaving, the Guehi thing has come back on the radar. The first rumors were in June. Tottenham were linked as well. The big problem is to fold. Palace have no interest in losing him at the stage of the transfer window, and their valuation of Iguahi is about £65 million. That is hugely significant, and I can't see Arsenal being able to do a deal like that. Even beyond that, from conversations I have had from people who know Iguahi, I don't think he will go for it right now. It's no surprise to hear that this deal for Guehi will be tough to do for Arsenal because Crystal Palace are proving to be impossible to deal with this summer. In another word, Michael All is easy and Ducouré would all be at Chelsea, Tottenham and Liverpool respectively this summer, but Palace have held firm on their stance and they won't be selling their star players. Where he is surely destined for bigger and better things before too long, but it looks as though his short term future is still at Selhurst Park. Arsenal weighing up late summer move for a 23 year old Dutchman. Arsenal are reportedly considering a move for the Torino defender, Per Schurz. A report from Torino Granata claims that Arsenal are looking to bring in a central defender before the summer transfer window closes. The Gunners signed Urian Tamber from Ajax earlier this summer, but the Dutchman has picked up a serious injury and he will be sidelined for several weeks. It's no surprise that Arsenal are now considering another defensive signing. Schurz has been a key player for Torino since joining the club last summer and he could prove to be a quality acquisition. Apart from being a quality defender, the Dutchman is exceptional with the ball at his feet. The 23-year-old is certainly one of the best ball-playing defenders in the Italian league and he could prove to be the ideal fit for Mikel Arteta's system. The player has been linked with a move to the Premier League in recent months and the opportunity to join a club like Arsenal will be a tempting proposition. The 23-year-old could be keen on taking the next step in his career and a move to the Premier League will be hard to turn down. Brantford's Ivantoni stands clear as Arsenal bid expected alongside our rival Tottenham. Brantford striker Ivan Toni is expected to attract a host of bids when he returns to action in January next year. Manchester United and Tottenham are among the clubs we know are keen on Toni, and according to the Times, Arsenal are also expected to be among the interested parties for the England striker. The Times claims that Arsenal are indeed one of the clubs interested in Toni. It suggested Brantford will demand around £80 million for their star man, even though his contract is due to expire in 2025. The Times writes, multiple bids are expected, but among the interested parties are Arsenal, who have spent £200 million on new recruits this summer, including the goalkeeper David Raya from Brantford. It's noted in the piece how Tony is expected to switch agencies as well, the striker will partner with the Stellar Group, who helped sort big moves for both Gareth Bale and Jack Rilich. Tony is currently serving an eight-month ban for betting breaches. He will return in January though, and a flurry of interest is expected. The 27-year-old scored 21 goals last season in another impressive campaign for Brantford. 
Tony has recently spoke of his admiration for Arsenal as well, something that Mikel Arteta will hope to put to good use when the time comes. For all the great footballers, Arsenal have in the final third, they don't have someone in the style of Tony who can bully and batter defenders. If they can't sign the Brantford man, then it changed this massively for them. We see with Erling Haaland how his battering ram style helps City the players find more space. Tony could do similar thing with Arsenal. Lauded as an unbelievable talent by Thomas Frank, this could well be £80 million well spent for Arsenal. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.